Are Hollywood elites trying to ban Sound of Freedom? Well, it's no secret that Hollywood can get pretty crazy, but what Mel Gibson said about the dark truth regarding some people in the industry is on another level. I don't give a anymore. Mm. I'm not afraid of it because I've had plenty. From uncovering what the elites are doing to their involvement in nasty businesses, Mel is ready to tell it all. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. Recently, the movie Sound of Freedom is the talk of the town, but this was not the case when the film initially hit the cinema. In fact, there was little to no media attention for the movie and fans were confused. One of the most disturbing problems in our world today is human trafficking, and particularly the trafficking of children. Now, the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. It seems like Hollywood elites are pulling the strings and even trying to get the movie banned. But why are they so desperate about it? And what did Mel say about these elites? Let's find out. While Hollywood is notably one of the most controversial industries ever, surprises sometimes come and go. This time, the surprise was in the form of a movie, and little did we know, this movie would soon open our eyes to the truth and what exactly is happening behind the camera. The movie I am referring to is called Sound of Freedom, directed and co-written by Alejandro Monteverde, starring Jim Caviezel, Mira Sorvino, and Bill Camp, and just like the title suggests, it has a very strong message. So strong that the industry is desperately trying to shut it down. It even got to the point where the movie was not getting proper media promotion or attention. As a result, the cast are trying their hardest to promote the movie in order to reach more audiences. Most of you might be wondering why there is no media attention at all. However, there's a very obvious reason why the elites are making sure the movie is dragged under the rug. Since the movie specifically discusses the murky realities in the industry, powerful people are pulling the strings to prevent it from reaching a wider audience. This is mostly because they don't want people to know about the questionable things they are doing. It turns out the plot is spot on and the elites are upset because it's sending warnings to the general public. The movie is based on the real life experiences of Tim Ballard, a former special agent for the Department of Homeland Security who has devoted his life to fighting serious child exploitation cases. With the help of Glenn Beck, he took his cause public by founding Operation Underground Railroad. Additionally, there are sporadic instances in the film where a strong Christian undertone is overt, such as when Ballard explains why he is so enthusiastic about ending juvenile criminality by saying, because God's children are not for sale. Because God's children are not for sale. You can say that the movie is somehow an advocacy effort as well to help shed light on this issue and hopefully eradicate these social problems. Nevertheless, despite the relevance and significance of the subject matter, Major streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon chose to forego the film and chose not to make it available on their platforms. It was unexpected, to put it mildly, as these platforms had traditionally been strong advocates for these ideals. Why then did they reject the sound of freedom? To add to the suspicion, prominent figures in the industry who had frequently spoken out for issues like this had been strangely silent regarding the film and the controversy surrounding it. You would expect that these self-proclaimed philanthropists would speak out, but no, they were all silent. And as a result, it appears that the entertainment industry as a whole has made the decision to ignore a critical social issue. But wait, there's more, because the controversy does not end there. We are only at the tip of the iceberg because more dirt about these alleged industry elites is getting out of the bag. For those who don't know, Sound of Freedom was initially under Disney, but House of Mouse suddenly scrapped the project and people were very confused as to why. Jones. Disney spent $300 million resurrecting Harrison Ford and releasing the summer blockbuster. But there's another movie dominating the box office. It's called The Sound of Freedom. Rumor has it that there is actually so much more behind the sudden rejection and the fact that the movie is not getting any promotion despite how star-studded the cast is. One of the alleged reasons is that these platforms deliberately turn a blind eye in order to prevent the issue relating to child trade from reaching a global audience and to protect the elites who are calling the shots from their ivory towers. Mel Gibson actually hinted about these industry elites way back in 1998, and after Sound of Music premiered, fans started to connect the dots. I wanted to leave, <laughs> and because I knew that I didn't want to work with him. Yeah. And he was getting scary. Yeah. Based on the video, the actor is talking about how dark and twisted Hollywood is, which might still be the case today. Aside from this, other actors like Mark Wahlberg made very shocking statements about how Hollywood is trying to blacklist the film. 
approach to you. Mm -hmm. Do you, have you always talked about it, or did you feel I at have. some point like, okay, I have a platform here, and I just want to share this part of my journey? I have. You know, it's, it's a balance. I don't want to jam it down anybody's throat, yeah. but I do not deny my faith. That's In a recent revelation, Mark revealed how the industry is desperate to hide this movie away from the public in order to keep their shady business safe. During the interview, he courageously revealed how the evils in the industry tried to hush such impactful movies for the benefit of the elites. In fact, he is basically hinting that big names in Hollywood are getting involved in the banning of Sound of Freedom because the movie's story and message are totally spot on and are a big threat to their fishy business. So to be able to give my kids a better life and follow and pursue their dreams, whether it be my daughter as an equestrian, my son as a basketball player, my youngest son as a golfer. As a result, these statements from both actors sent shockwaves to the internet and soon enough, reports about how big names in Hollywood are trying to shoot down the movie went viral and the lack of attention towards Sound of Freedom is a thing of the past because now people are very intrigued about the movie and wanted to see why these elites are so scared of it. While Mel and Mark didn't drop names, they were also very straightforward about who they were referring to. In fact, they talked about what they dubbed the Good Club and how the people who belong to this club are not good at all. On top of that, there are two kinds of elites. One of them is called the Good Club. According to The Guardian, this exclusive group is made up of billionaire philanthropists who regularly hold meetings to discuss matters they deem important. Some of the people included in this good club are Bill Gates, George Soros, Ted Turner, and Oprah Winfrey. Speaking of Oprah, you will be shocked at what Mel Gibson has revealed about her and the other elites in Hollywood and how far they will go to trap these innocent kids. And it turns out, while she is known as an icon, billionaire, and philanthropist, it seems like there is a side of Oprah that she would rather keep behind closed doors. While Mel and the movie never really named her, the host's connection with Harvey Weinstein is undeniably a big red flag about her character. Harvey never had the best reputation when it comes to his work ethic and how he treated young kids. However, despite all of this, Oprah remained very good friends with him, which is one of the many red flags about her. On top of this, reports even suggested that she would encourage, if not force, other actors to work with Harvey, which started the accusations that she was part of Harvey's illicit behavior when it came to his co-workers. If you think about it, these allegations are completely in contrast with Oprah's image as a supporter of women's empowerment and other social issues. Some even mentioned how her friendship with Harvey is an obvious double standard and a big flaw in her beliefs and principles. But this is not yet the end because after being close with a person who was dubbed a predator, Oprah also invited another notorious person to her program. Yes, you heard that right. She had invited John of God on her show and viewers were shocked and disgusted all at the same time. If you are unfamiliar with John, he is Oprah's faith healer and was convicted of many counts of harassment. As a result, he was given a 99-year jail sentence. Can you imagine a person like Oprah, who advocated against these offenses, actually having a faith healer who was in prison for the very same charges? Coincidence? Well, there's a high chance it's not. Fans were also baffled because of this, and they can't seem to understand how this happened. One fan wrote, Finally, slowly, we're seeing justice against the elite heroes. While another said, Beware of most folks that Oprah promotes. It's also mind-boggling how Oprah gave John of God his big break by having him on her show and figuratively flung open the doors for him to have access to his victims. Oprah did try to salvage her reputation by showing support and empathy to the women who became victims of John of God, but sadly the damage was already done and it's almost impossible to believe her words when she was the first one to endorse a predator in the guise of a faith healer. And because of this, fans believe that the problem is deeply rooted in the industry since there is a big chance that there are more people who hide their true colors. That is why the audience also thinks that it's not impossible for nasty and unforgivable things to happen in real life, and the movie is a small glimpse of the sad truth these Hollywood elites are desperately trying to bury. And maybe this is why Mel and other concerned actors are warning us about the sickening reality that is already engraved in Hollywood and the people in it. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe for more.